Happy New Year, everybody. It's Alan Thomas, a.k.a. Shot Assassins. And just doing a brief bit of talking about some of the stuff that I've had happen in the past couple days. Or at least in the last week since I did my last video. Um, quite a bit of art-related stuff that I've had happen in the past couple days. Of course, I'm still working on my new webcomic, Infinite Uppercut. That's going to be coming out January 10th, if I haven't said that enough in my last couple videos. And I'm going to continue uh, to throw that date out there, at least until it starts to sink in. <laughs> but yeah, January 10th, in all seriousness, I have my new webcomic coming out on, I think it's a Thursday. Yeah, I keep saying the date and don't remember the day. But anyways, um, next Thursday, I'll have it out. Um, I'm currently still doing updates on the comic itself and I actually am beginning to build a buffer for the comic which is off to a good start um I think I'm approaching around a similar buffer to what I had the Shadow Assassins the first time that I put that out back in 2015 um actually New Year's Day 2015 so I've officially been at this webcomic thing for about four years now um almost half a decade doing this um wow it really has almost been half a decade that's crazy but in any event um i also need to be working on like banners and other little artwork to get done just for the actual page when i upload it on tapas and webtoon um i haven't quite figured out how i'm gonna work around putting it on webtoon i'm actually tossing up whether i'm going to put the comic in both places simply because uh i know i have a loyal tapas following i'm not sure how my well how it's gonna do on webtoons i'll probably still be doing it anyways on webtoons but uh I'll pretty much just be building a fan base from the start because like i said i was uploading shadow assassins before on both platforms and then I stopped so the webtoons one got stopped before it got going but I still have a loyal tapas fan base that I need to update on what's going on so yeah got that going on with the new webcomic and I've also been working on other pieces of artwork in between time um I also recently got a I was gonna say a job offer but it's not a job offer but some new freelance work that I might have coming down the pike sometime in 2019 so so far off to a great start for this year um only gonna get better from here uh also in another uh crazy sequence of events i as you can see in the actual video that's playing right now it's a picture of wwe superstar mustafa ali that i'm painting and the actual picture you can go ahead and see on my Instagram page. Um, or you can go and check uh, at Mustafa Ali WWE where he posted my painting. Uh, that actually was mind blowing. Uh, he saw the paint. Well, I mean, I tag wrestlers a lot of the times if I draw like a portrait of him or whatever. But he actually saw it and reposted it and... He really didn't have to do that um <laughs> i know some wrestlers actually do that others don't i mean it is whatever i just think it's awesome that they recognize the artwork in the first place but for him to actually like repost it and give a shout out which he does with a lot of his fan art but i'm still appreciative of it like he really didn't have to do that at all and it set my instagram go a little crazy for about a couple days so very interesting new year's and i'm thankful for it um i actually got a, a purchase out of it so somebody went to my website and actually uh bought one of my paintings so yeah that's freaking awesome um yeah i can't thank mustafa ali enough for that one so uh big ups to him um also other than that i actually took this time before the end of 2018 to start watching a new anime uh, I tend to get in my own head a bit and watch the same animes that I started watching as a child to this very day. So I watch a bunch of Dragon Ball, Dragon Ball Z, uh, Trigun, Outlaw Star. Even occasionally I'll get in a kick where I start watching Fist of the North Star again. 
Um, those are really the animes that I watched growing up as a child. <clears throat> uh, as I got older, I started getting into stuff like uh, Bleach and Naruto, I guess with that second big wave of anime in the mid 2000s, mid to late 2000s, I'd say. I didn't really get into One Piece all that much, and a lot of these new sort of shonen animes and manga, I'm not too much into. I have tried to watch Toriko. I was into it for a while, and then I just kind of got out of that. Um, I absolutely love One Punch Man. I think that's awesome. <clears throat> Hunter x Hunter. Um haven't watched it a lot it's not that i'm not into it or anything i just haven't seen enough of it um like i said one piece i just couldn't get into i've tried watching one piece more times than i care to count and to this day i haven't gotten through the first episode so that's it's just not for me it's like i can't even get through the first episode and i'm not gonna force myself to watch anything so yeah just one piece isn't for me but hunter x hunter i saw the first episode it's not bad but like i said before it just I just haven't really gotten fully into it to say yay or nay on it yet. But uh, I saw one anime, a newer one I'd say in recent years. Oh, and uh, neglected to mention Attack on Titan is another big one that I like nowadays. Um, though I'm behind, I don't think I've seen the last season because it was such a pause in the series for a while. I didn't watch one of the last seasons because I forgot it came back on, which tends to happen when you have a lapse. But uh know that from webcomic experience but in any event um <laughs> i started watching and i got recommended this back in like sometime in the early part of last year and just never watched it my hero academia and that anime is freaking awesome um damn it that anime is amazing uh and i think i'm only like maybe 15 episodes in which i only intended to watch because i was uh like an idiot i was trying to get pages done and have that play in the background which is moronic why would i try to watch something that i've never seen before well have it play as background noise while i'm trying to get work done that seems i'm not even going to say counterproductive like it's just downright stupid for me to even attempt and what ended up happening was what i thought was going to happen I was going to focus my attention on one thing and not the other. And I stopped painting for a while and it ended up binge watching My Hero Academia. I think I watched like four episodes. I only meant to watch like the first episode just to get a feel for it. But I watched the first one and I got hooked. And then I was like, okay, so let me see what the second episode is about. And because it ended with such a heavy cliffhanger on the very first episode. I was like, I've got to see what this is about like i've got to figure out like what this is so i watched that first episode and saw the cliffhanger at the first episode and then i watched the second one and i went okay now i gotta watch the third one so i watched that and before i looked at it i was deep into the fifth episode and i went oh my god i'm supposed to be getting web comments done so <laughs> i had to cut that off that was so counterproductive um and I did what I normally do when I work on pages, and that's either watch, like, I have an old 90s sitcom or something playing on, like, Hulu, or I'll be, uh, have an old anime playing that I've seen, like, a million times. So it's not going to be too distracting as long as nothing crazy is happening. Um, lots of crazy uh, background stuff that I'll have on while I'm getting my work done. Uh, another thing that I do which I recently, I was making pages and I had this going on in the background while I was working just for motivation. And I think I may be going crazy. I'm not sure if anyone else does this. If you're listening to this and you do this, please let me know because I think I may be one of the few people, if not the only person on the planet that may do this. Um, I'll be drawing artwork or specifically pages of my webcomic because my webcomic in general is uh the new one that i'm working on infinite uppercut is very much influenced by fighting games so 
I'll actually have fighting it. I'll have like, cause YouTube is a just an encyclopedia for everything. Just about. I'll have like walkthroughs or like long plays or like uh, playthroughs, whatever you want to call it. I'll have videos of people playing a game, not them talking over just the gameplay itself, playing in the background while I'm getting pages done and just the noises and the sounds and the music of a fighting game will actually motivate me while I'm working. Like I said before, I think I don't know of anyone else that does that and it sounds really crazy cuz it's just noise. Like <laughs> like I do a lot of working on fighting games while uh working on fighting games, working on my comic while I'm playing uh or while Street Fighter or Mortal Kombat is playing in the background, and the noise that you hear from that game without looking at the screen sometimes is pretty insane. <laughs> Especially a Mortal Kombat game with all the screams and the violence and whatnot. Um, it didn't even register to me just how crazy Mortal Kombat 3 sounded, or I never took into account how crazy it sounded without actually looking at the screen until sort of doing this so <clears throat> I actually learned a bit about myself in the last six months working on this freaking webcomic but uh yeah uh highly influenced by fighting games and just a lot of the things that I like in general I put into this fighting game it also made me enjoy it a lot more than I have the previous webcomics that I've worked on um and also because I don't really take this comic too seriously. I make sure that I'm enjoying everything that I'm working on and I'm enjoying every page. Like I tend to, or I really wanted to make this webcomic a lot funner than my other two. Because Brain Buster, I really didn't take that seriously in the first place, which made for some moments in it that were pretty funny because like I said, there was nothing about it that I took seriously at all. But the actual look of it is lackluster simply because I didn't like the visuals of it I didn't put that much effort into it was just me screwing around and then with Shad Assassins while I was trying very hard with that one it there are moments where it was like way too serious and because there's not a lot going on it got to points where it was a drag like I said in previous videos that I did last year I got burnt out with Shad Assassins pretty much like sometime late 2015 early 2016 and I think I should have took a longer break then than what I actually did um and I wouldn't have gotten completely burnt out as I did but all in all had I did any of that I probably wouldn't be working on the comic that I'm working on now so I guess things just happened the way they were supposed to but in any event that's pretty much uh a lot of the goofiness and the craziness I've had going on the past couple of days. Nothing really major. A lot of painting and drawing for the new year. I saw my family and whatnot. Spent some time with them. Um, at least over the course of these holidays. And then, like I said, there was the, uh, the benefit of Mustafa Ali reposting my artwork. And then, like I say, I discovered an entirely new anime to watch, which I'm going to end up... I'm already hooked. Um, <clears throat> I'm actually, as I'm recording this now, I've gotten everything set up to start working on my next pages. And as soon as I get those finished, I know I'm going to be watching My Hero Academia today. I don't know if I'm going to watch... Uh, because I normally try to watch Raw or at least SmackDown and NXT every week. I don't even know if I'm going to watch any of that tonight. I'll probably see it later on the network. Um, but I've got to keep watching My Hero Academia. Like, that is freaking awesome. And I'm a big fan of Deku. Which is also very rare for me to be a fan of the protagonist of a particular manga or anime. Um... Now that I think of it, I'm not a fan of most protagonists outside of maybe Saitama and Kenshiro and while that might actually be it, maybe Gene from Outlaw Star, but 
uh, Ichigo wasn't that big on. Naruto annoyed the hell out of me. I'm not a Goku fan. Um, yeah, I hate most protagonists. I don't know what's wrong with me, but in, in any event, um, before I continue and just keep babbling here, I'm going to uh, close this video out. Like I said, I have my webcomic coming out January 10th. It'll be out on Tapas and Webtoons. I'm going to probably put, start changing the links in my description. Instead of to my other webcomics, I'll just change it to my profiles on those platforms so you can go ahead and visit it and read whichever webcomic of mine that you want to. Whether or not you want to read the new one that I'll have coming out next week or read my um, previous two comics, which at this point are incomplete but whichever ones that you want to go ahead and read and take a look at you can go ahead and I also have a, a little clothing store at gear bubble that's in the description as well as my actual website shadowassassins.com which has all my links and anything that you need to get a hold of for and also it has my art prints so if there's a piece of artwork that you like that you've seen me paint on my channel, anything like that, that you'd be interested in buying, you can from there. Um, the non-copywritten stuff, because I'm not trying to get any cease or desist or nothing like that. So, yeah, you can go ahead and check my website out. And I hope everybody has a great 2019. I hope your New Year's was fantastic. And go ahead and just keep living it up for the rest of the year. Have a good one. I'm out.